Good morning, boys and girls. We had a great time yesterday playing on our Zoom. It was so great to play with you. If you take any pictures along the way, feel free to share it with our group. But let's get up. Let's get ready to stretch. We're going to do our morning song and our color song. And then Ari has requested a song. And I'm going to do it today for the first time with you. So let's get started. It's time to start the day. It's time to start the day. It's time to give a great big cheer. And then we're on our way. Hooray! It's time to start the day. It's time to start the day. It's time to give a great big cheer. And then we're on our way. Hooray! What colors are you wearing today? Take a look. Wow, I have a lot of blue on, and I have some white on my shirt. I hope I call that color. Are you ready? If you're wearing orange today, orange today, orange today. If you're wearing orange today, stand up and shout hooray. Do you have orange on? Well, if you don't, it's okay. Let's see if you have the next color. If you're wearing black today, black today, black today. If you're wearing black today, stand up and shout hooray. Do you have black on? All right, how about the next color? If you're wearing blue today, blue today, blue today. If you're wearing blue today, stand up and shout hooray. Hooray! I am wearing a lot of blue today. It's one of my favorite colors. All right, are you ready for a new dance? Well, Ari has requested, I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it from the Madagascar soundtrack. So it's a little bit of a new dance. I'm going to do it with you too. So let's just have fun, get up, and exercise. All right, get moms and dads. All right, you ready? You're going to shake your hips. You can do the other side. And we're going to shake the other side. Oh, yeah. yesterday. I love Zooming with you. Today we're going to have an awesome day too. This week we've been learning about rain and clouds. We did some thunder and lightning, right? And then today we're going to talk a little bit about the different types of weather that come with all those storms. And today we're going to do a fun science experiment about tornadoes because it's really cool and you can use the items at your house to make a tornado. So don't forget to watch the videos below on how we're going to do that and further learning about what is a tornado, okay? 
So today we're going to find out first what day it is, what day of the week it is, what month we're in, because pretty soon we're going to be saying goodbye to our month of April. We have to see which one is coming next. Okay, let's get the show started with our days. All right, we need to get our next number, right? It's a big number. No longer has a two in front. Pete, show us what number it is. Wow, do you know what number this is? Let's break it down. Let's cover the second number. Can you tell me what the first number is? Three, one, two, three. Good job. How about this next number? Very round, it is a zero. Zero, no fingers to put up. And if we put them together, we have 30. All right, Pete, plop it on there. Good, are you guys excited and ready to count from one all the way to 30? I know you can do it. Ready, sing it nice and loud with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. Wow, you guys are doing fantastic. So it's the 30th or 30 of April. Hmm, what month is coming next? We're in April now. Let's sing our song. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, 12 months in a year. Did you hear what month was after April? January, February, March, April, May. <gasps> the month of May. It's going to be beautiful. So we're looking forward to that. So let's take our pointer and let's move on up and see what day of the week is it. Ooh, we have two days that start with the letter T. Which one is it? Let's do our days of the week song. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Repeat after me, Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, stop. It is Thursday, April 30th. If today is Thursday, what was yesterday? What day of the week when we have our Zooms? It starts with the what what sound, a W sound. What day of the week makes up? What sound? Let's see. Sunday? Mm -mm. Monday? Tuesday? T -t. That doesn't make a what sound. Wednesday? W -w Wednesday? Good. Today is Thursday. Yesterday was Wednesday. And tomorrow will be the last day of our school week. Makes a f, -f sound for f, -f, f. What day of the week? has the F sound, F, F, Friday. So today is Thursday, yesterday was Wednesday, and tomorrow will be Friday. Excellent, excellent job. All right, Pete, are you going to help me out? Hmm. Yesterday, we were checking in on our weather with Miss Donna, and we're trying to see, is it raining? Is it stormy with thunder and lightning, tornadoes, hurricanes, anything crazy like that? Is it snowy, cloudy, windy? Wow. Yesterday, we heard from Astana, we could check out of our windows 
that it was another cloudy day. So we'll have to see what the weather is like today. So, so far, we have two, one, two for cloudy and one for sunny. I hope we can get more for some sunny. So don't be sure, be sure to check her out, check her videos out and see what the weather is like. You never know, anything can happen. And don't forget, when we look at our thermometer, we're going to see, is it a really hot day or does it drop all the way down? Is it cold? Have you been outside to check? All right, guys. Now this week we are practicing still our letter Y's. Do you remember what the letter Y sounds like? Who remembers our march? God. Yeah. 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 Yellow. Yeah. 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 Yummy. Yeah. 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 Yak. Yeah. 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 Yuck. All these fun Y by Y words with our Y sound of yeah. So don't forget you're going to start on the top and you're going to go down and stop. Then almost like your X, you're going to go on the other side. You're going to go down all the way past. Good. Make sure you're not going in the middle. That makes our X. Is that buddy right there? We're going to go down. And you're going to touch that little point there and keep going to make our Y's. It almost looks like somebody is going, woo, it's a happy letter, right? With its hands up in the sky. Good job. Do you remember our silly Y song for this week? To our, if you're happy and you know, clap your hands song. Good. But remember, you're going to yell out yes if you like yams. Did you try them yet? If you think that yams are yummy, yell out yes, yes. If you think that yams are yummy, yell out yes, yes. If you think that yams are yummy, yell out yes and rub your tummy. If you think that yams are yummy, yell out yes, yes. I hope you enjoy all these silly songs with us. They help us practice our letter sounds and we get to learn some really cool words. Maybe you can have a little word wall in your house. Mom can help you pick out a few words like yams, yummy, yes. And you can write a few of those words on a word wall at home. Practice those all week long. So cool. Why not? So this week you're going to be uh, practicing your letter Y with our Y worksheets. And we have our little Y worksheet here. You can trace this if you'd like, make your own Y's. You're going to trace your Y's on a dotted line and then mark the picture that starts with the letter Y. So let's look at some of these. We have tent. Does tent t -t make the y sound? Let's do our hands. Y, t, y, t. Does that match? I didn't think so either. Oh, we have an animal here, though. Looks like a yak. Hmm. Y, y, yak. Does that make the same sound as our word yes? Y, y, yes. Y, y, yak. <gasps> that sounds the same. They both begin with a Y. So you'd be coloring in your yak. And if you want extra points, you can go online and see what colors they are. Why not? Have fun with it. You are also going to be practicing our numbers. I hope you all enjoyed a little cut and paste matching game. It's like a little puzzle, all right? You're going to count the different items in each box. So let's go with, ooh, pieces of pie. What you're going to do is you're gonna count all those pieces of pie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, good counting. So we're gonna go onto this side and be like, which one is a seven? They're all mixed up. You have to figure out what our lucky number seven is. You're going to cut and paste it right over here with your glue stick. If you don't have a glue stick, you can use tape or you can just practice moving it along back and forth if you don't have any um, 
glue or tape or anything that you need. You can use this as a little puzzle game. If you don't want to glue it down, you can keep doing it over and over again with a worksheet from today and yesterday. So it's a fun idea and option for you. All right, guys, who's ready for a story? Something maybe your parents have seen, maybe they have not. This is called the Dick and Jane book. As our friends are starting to learn how to uh, sound out their letters, some of us are already ready. There's some simple books that you can use in order to encourage their reading. I know when I started my son reading, we used some Dick and Jane books. They're, they're pretty easy. You have to learn a few sight words to get through it, but they're a lot of fun. And once they start reading, they're gonna be so happy. They're gonna be like, I wanna read so much, mom. So these short books like this are great because it gets their excitement level up because they can read. So I'm going to read you a little bit in our Dick and Jane book. We look and see. Here's Dick. Look, look, oh, oh. Oh, he is playing in the leaves. Look, look, oh look. Here's Jane, Jane. See, see, see Jane. Oh, Jane, look, look, look. <gasps> He's pointing out something. What is it? Oh, 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 see, oh, see, Jane, funny, funny, Jane. Look, they found roller skates. Look who's coming, baby. Look, Dick, look, 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 Jane, look and see, see, baby, see, see. Oh, 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 Dick. Look and see. See the baby. The baby is hiding. Look, Jane. Look. See baby. Oh, oh, oh. Funny, funny baby. And next is Spot. Oh, cute little dog. They're having so much fun together. And the baby keeps hiding. Now there's a dog named Spot. Come, Dick. Come and see. Come, come. Come and see. Come and see Spot. Look, Spot. Oh, look. Look and see. Oh, see. <gasps> I'm looking at the picture, and right in the corner is a little frog. So Dick, Jane, and Spot are all looking at the frog. Run, Spot. Run. Run, run. Oh, 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 funny, funny Spot. Spot is afraid of the frog. The frog is jumping at him. <laughs> silly, silly Spot. Here now we have Puff. Puff is a kitten. Jump, Puff, jump, jump, jump. Run, Puff, run and jump. Run, 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 jump, jump, jump. Uh-oh, oh, oh, Puff, look and see. Oh, 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 see. His balloon popped. Now we're going to learn about Tim. Jump up, baby, jump up. Up, 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 jump up. Come up, Tim, come up. Up, 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 come up. They're all trying to get a drink from the water fountain. Look, Dick, look. See, baby, and Tim. Funny, baby. Funny, Tim. He has them right in the water fountain. <laughs> Silly. It says Tim and Spot. Don't forget, Tim is our little bear friend. He was getting a bath in the water fountain. Come up, Tim. Go up. Go up, up, up. Go down, Tim. Go down. 
go down, 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 go up, and go down. She's playing with her teddy bear, Tim. Oh, Jane, see Spot and Tim, see Spot run. Funny, funny Spot, funny, funny Tim. Spot has Tim riding on the back. Up and down. Come puff, come and go up. Go up, up, up. Come down, down, down. Go up and down. Go up and down, up and down. Go up, up, up. Come down, down, down. <laughs> They're playing on the swing with Tim. They put Tim the teddy bear in the swing. It goes up and down, up and down. Oh, baby, see Puff jump, see Puff run. Oh, 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 see Puff jump and run. Puff and Nick. Now they're going to be at the park together. What are they going to do? Come, baby, run, run, run and see. Look up, baby, look up and see Puff. Look up, baby, look up and see Dick. See Dick go up. See Dick go up, up, up. He is climbing up the tree. Oh, Jane. See Dick come down. See Puff come down. Down, down, down. Oh, oh. See Puff come down. Puff was hiding in the tree. So Dick had to go up and get him. Now we're doing look and see. <gasps> that, sound, that sounds a little bit like seek and find, right? Look, Spot, look, Puff, look and see. See Baby and Tim. Come, Spot, come, jump up. See Puff, jump. Jump up, Spot, jump up and see. Come, Dick, come, come and see. See Spot and Puff, see Baby and Tim. Look, look, look and see. See Baby, go. Look, Spot, look, see Tim and Puff. Jump, Spot, jump, jump up, jump up. Oh, Jane, look and see. See Baby go, see Tim go. See Spot and Puff go. They are riding on a wagon. And they have everyone inside the wagon and they're going super fast. Oh, Dick. Look, look, look and see. See Spot jump. See Puff jump. Uh-oh. Everybody's out of the wagon. I guess he went a little bit too fast. Too fast. And that's it for today. There's so many different books that are inside here. And you just have to find the best match. If you want to read the Dick and Jane. Or we have the different leveled books through Disney. Whatever your child is interested in. Have them read that. Okay, if they want to cook with you, teach them how to read some of the recipes. Practice with the numbers. Reading doesn't just have to be in a physical book. If they love reading books online, that's awesome. Uh, Miss Donna has told me about the VOOCs. It's an online reading, uh, basically read aloud, and it has a little bit of a video to it, and it's a lot of fun. So I'm going to start sharing those with you too. And if you find a book that maybe is easy to read, or they would like to read, go back and read it each day. Even if they don't know some of the words, when they keep seeing it, they remember it, and then they become sight words. And the more words that you read and remember, the more you know. So find a The weather 
is a funny thing. One day it can be sunny and warm, perfect day for sunglasses and flip flops, but the next day it can be cold and rainy. Most of the time, the weather doesn't give us anything that we can't handle with maybe some sunscreen or an umbrella or a snow shovel. But sometimes, and in some places, there can be extreme weather, like big thunderstorms or hurricanes or snowstorms. And one of the most powerful kinds of extreme weather out there is a type of a storm that scientists pay close attention to, tornadoes. A tornado is a fast spinning column of air that stretches all the way from a thunderstorm cloud in the sky down to the Earth's surface. Because tornadoes turn and twist as they move, they're sometimes called twisters. They form inside really big thunderstorms when cold, dry air moving from one direction bumps into warm, wet air coming from a different direction. Because the cold air is heavier, it slides down under the warm air and pushes it up really fast. All this fast moving air rushing up and down can create a sort of spinning thunderstorm and it can eventually keep going to form a tornado. And when a tornado forms, it can be one of the most powerful forces in nature. Tornado winds are the strongest in the world, even stronger than hurricanes. In some twisters, we know that the wind can blow to almost 500 kilometers an hour, strong enough to lift heavy things like cars and trucks into the air. And they're loud too. People who have seen them or even been in them say they sound like giant roaring trains. But they don't move as fast as a speeding train. Usually tornadoes travel across the land at about 50 kilometers an hour, slower than most cars go. Now, weather can be really unpredictable, which means that you just can't predict or know what's going to happen before it happens. And that's especially true for tornadoes. These windy storms can speed up, slow down, change direction, or even stand still and they can last anywhere from a few seconds to as long as an hour. While tornadoes can happen all over the world, they're most common in the United States. About two thirds of all the tornadoes in the world happen right down the middle of the country, from the Dakotas down to Texas, especially in the late spring and early summer. Because tornadoes are so powerful and so unpredictable, meteorologists spend a lot of time studying them. They want to understand more about exactly how and when tornadoes can form and hopefully predict when they'll show up. There are even people called storm chasers who follow big storms around the middle of the US hoping to spot one as it turns into a tornado so we can get a better picture of what really happens when a twister forms. Scientists still don't know for sure when a tornado is going to happen, but they have gotten better at predicting which thunderstorms might be strong enough to create one. And if they spot a bad looking storm early enough, then they can give people who live nearby a warning that a twister might be coming. That's one of the most important jobs that a meteorologist has, helping people get ready for extreme weather. So the more they learn about tornadoes, the better we can prepare for them, and the more they can help us understand how our weather works, even when it's not so extreme. I hope the weather is nice where you are, and if you have any questions for any of us here at the fort about weather, animals, space, or anything, just let us know by leaving a comment or emailing us at kids at the Thanks for joining us.
girls, we're going to get ready to make our tornadoes. So the first thing you need is some kind of a container. I tried with a soda bottle and I tried with a container, but what I found the best that works for me is just a regular clear water bottle. You need to find something that works for you. You're going to put water about three-fourths the way, so almost all the way, but you need a little space for air. Okay, so depending on what bottle you're using, you want to do it about three-fourths, mom and dad. I put in a little bit of food coloring if you have that. If you don't have it, it's okay. You don't need it. It just helps you see a little bit better our tornadoes. And if it's too dark, you put too much in, you won't be able to see it, so make sure that you are... um can put a little water in there to dilute it so that way it's not so dark. All right, and then next what you can do is what I have at the bottom is put little sparkles if you have some sparkles. Not only is it fun, but you can also use it to see your tornado better. It's pretty cool. The last thing that you need is a very little bit of dish soap. Don't put too much or else you're going to have a lot of bubbles right on top. And then if you shake it, it'll create more balls. Okay, so you're gonna have to play around with it, but I put a very little bit in, and that way it helps the, the sparkles, the little um, decorations, float a little bit better, okay? But once again, if you have nothing but a water bottle, you can still do this. Just having fun with different colors and shapes inside, Go, to, go crazy, have fun with this. Science is fun. So what happens is you make sure the top's on good, right? Make sure the top's on good. All right, I showed you a video using different soda bottles too. So make sure you have it taped up. Make sure that it's screwed on okay. Because the worst thing that can happen is you turn it over and it ends up everywhere. But that's okay. You clean up. You can try again. So you're going to turn. All right, guys. Here we go. Do you see it? That's a good one. Let's try it again. Shake it up. Wow, you see that one? That's a good one. It's going up and down and up and down. <laughs> one more time. Go ahead and try it.